Hey everyone, so this is, once again, my 8750 running Rocket League. The only difference is that this is running in Linux, which is pretty cool. I don't have sound, sound working just yet, but I do have my preferred uh, desktop distro, which is Zubuntu running. 5 GHz Wi-Fi is working, um, maps the keyboard's working, mouse is working, touchscreen I have inverted, so I still have to figure that out. Um, but it's pretty cool. And also you can see that I am in Xbox, oh, X input mode, the 360 controller, and it works just fine. Performance wise, it's not really that, that great. Uh, I mean, comparatively to the Windows version. Well. So that's that. Let's let's leave. Let's see what else we got on Steam for Linux. Loading this actually took a, a hell of a long time. It took about two or three minutes to load Rocket League. Um, let me pause it. Oh, I know. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was worried for a second that it was going to take a while. Um, so the other cool thing is that you can get experimental Vulkan drivers on Linux, which I have compiled. You can follow directions here if you want to compile it yourself. Um, so good news is I compiled it correctly. We can actually see it in Dolphin. When, normally when you go into graphics and you click on the, the backend renderer, we'll click yes here, it usually gives you an, an error as soon as you click on Vulkan. But in here, loads just fine. So I was super excited, I was like, oh yeah, we're going to try this out, see how it runs, and it fails. So, uh, still early days yet, I'm sure uh, it can work. Um, there are also uh, repositories where you can just get pre-compiled Vulkan um, drivers, but I tried one that was supposed to be the stable build, and that is failing now as well. So, um, it might just be for this device that it's not super stable. Again, I don't have sound working, uh, but the, we can go to, we can test this. So I do have the five gigahertz network running just fine. So let's go ahead and run a speed test. And I am, I'm decently far away from my access point right now. It was good for a second. I just have to like angle it to catch the waves. Yeah, there we go. That that's the correct uh, correct way to angle it. So I mean, pretty similar to what you'll get on on Windows, but you five gigahertz Wi-Fi does work on Linux as well. Um, uh, what do we have here? I don't know if you can see it. Let me focus it on here. So I already did this buff, but you can see where it says Ubuntu. We're actually on Zubuntu. It, it should be pretty clear because you see this little logo right here. So the the X11 window is um, XFC instead of Unity or whatever, KDE or whatever you want. I, I like XFC. Um, you can also see some of the other stuff. So LSPCI is right here. LSUSB is right here. For anyone that's interested in that type of stuff, you can see that information right there. Uh, I mean, you can run... Pac-Man, which I installed the repo. Um, so on, in mouse mode, this is the D-pad. So, oh crap, went right into a ghost. Now we're Linux gaming. This is what Linux gaming is all about. Wait, that's that's Donkey Kong. Alright, well that's, that's Pac-Man. We don't need to play Pac-Man anymore. A really bad version of Pac-Man. Um, so yeah, um, basically everything that you, you like in Linux is available. And I mean, this is still early days yet, right? So there's still going to be lots of people that are getting GPD wins, lots of people that are interested in having 
their GPD win run on uh, the G sorry lots of people that want Linux to run on their GPD win so I'm I'm pretty optimistic of where the the Linux uh, the GPD win community actually takes things um, also I mean like like if you just look at like Steam and Linux my Steam and Linux library I there's like 1500 games available so there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff here I'm gonna load up Elliot quest and see how well this plays see if we can just switch into Xbox mode and have it play wonky touchscreen. You can see when I touch up here, like you can see the mouse move around the touchscreen while it does work. Oh yeah. Uh, continue. That's sweet. So X input just works. If you've never played Elliot Quest, I totally recommend getting this game. It's been been available for a while. Toggle full screen. Yeah, hell yeah, I want full screen. Okay. Can I move? Oh, there we go. Okay, so deep bed. I really actually still have to fully beat uh, Elliot Quest. But it had really good. Um, if you if you liked uh, Link Two, basically, this has a lot of a lot of leanings to it. A lot of flavoring from from uh, Link's Awakening, I believe it's called. Is that right? Link's Awakening? Or Link's... Which one was it? Link's Awakening is the, the Game Boy version, right? I don't remember, but you know what I'm talking about. Zelda 2 for the NES. The second Zelda that came out. I mean, you can totally see the flavor that's of this game. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to show you what Linux is capable of doing. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Um, I mean, it runs. It runs well. Touchscreen does work. It just has to be modified. Uh, some guy on Reddit did have Arc Linux running, but his configuration does not match mine. Um, also, a lot of people... The thing is, is that this LCD wants to be portrait style because it's a smartphone LCD. Uh, so, it, at least as it applies to... Um, Zubuntu, there is a display rotation available that's super easy, so you don't have to like go digging or anything into. Uh, you can see where it says display rotation, right? So it's super easy to just fix this right within like a GUI, so you don't have to go digging through a terminal or a command line to do anything. Um, but yeah, command line's fun, and uh, compiling the Vulkan driver took about an hour. Because, uh, you know, it's only Atom course, but, um, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. So this is my 8750, and more or less I'm probably going to keep Linux on here for a little while. I would like to be able to test out Vulkan as it comes out whenever the Mesa group does things. But it works, and it works well. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, and that's it. Just wanted to show you guys that Linux is working now. It can be available now if you're if you're interested in it. I could show you the link. The ISO I, I used was someone that um, made some distros available for Bay Trail, and they kind of just work straight out of the box for uh, Cherry Trail. The only thing we had to do was take that text file that the guy on Reddit had, which is also the text file that I believe is the same for Windows that you have to edit. You should double check that. Um, but basically, you take that text file, put it in, Wi-Fi starts working. You can rotate the display. Uh, I haven't really messed with sound or trying to get it to work. Um, but again, I just wanted to show that it's still early days, but it's still pretty darn usable. So if you wanted a GPD win and you really wanted Linux on it, technically you can have it right now. It doesn't crash, doesn't rotate, doesn't do nothing. So, um, it's been pretty stable. I've been using it all day. Um even trying to install newer Vulkan drivers, so it's pretty cool. Uh, that's it. I'll have a few more gameplay demos later on, hopefully tonight. Thanks.